Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be reviewing the Black and Decker Easy Steam Compact Iron. So, pretty cheap iron. You can get it for $10 on Walmart.com or you can either get it on Amazon for $20. Probably don't do that. Um, so, first we're going to get started with what I like about this iron. Um, so, obviously, the first thing is price. So, like I said, probably go with Walmart.com would be my suggestion. Um, and the second thing is that it's very lightweight. Now, when I was kind of talking with a few people about irons, one of the complaints they had is that, you know, there's these old bulky irons, they're kind of a pain in the butt to move around and stuff like that. And this is definitely not that iron. It's pretty compact, easy to store, and that's definitely one of the features that I'm a fan of. Um, the last thing that I'm a fan of is that it's pretty easy to use. I got it and, you know, I kind of flipped through the user's manual if anyone still does that anymore. Um, just kind of look at, you know, how to use it and trying to familiarize myself with it, All right? So the first thing you're gonna be doing when you're gonna be using this iron is that you're gonna need to fill it up with water, obviously. So how you do that is that you look into this port right here, and I'll put a picture over here uh, showing it more close up. And one tip I have is that you wanna fill it up slowly. So, you know, don't turn your faucet open full board, just kind of have it open a little bit, that way you know you can fill it at a good rate. Um, so obviously once you get it filled in, the next thing you're going to do is plug it into the wall, give it a couple minutes to warm up, and then you're also going to be looking at your clothing that you're ironing, and you're going to see what the makeup of it is. So I'll put another picture up here, so one thing that I was ironing yesterday was 100% cotton. So if you look at the iron here, uh, it's got a kind of table of what to follow. And like I said, I'll put pictures up here kind of showing uh, what you should use for what specific material. Um, my suggestion would be to put it on a slightly lower setting, that way you don't accidentally burn your clothing. Um, another good tip uh, that I read in the manual was that you want to iron your clothes inside out. That way if you do happen to you know get any uh, water stains on it or anything else. It's on the inside of the clothing and no one's going to be able to see it It's just gonna be you know your mine your secret my secret. We're not gonna tell anyone. All right um, So once you get to that point, um, you know, you're gonna have it turned up to the setting that you want All right, so now you started ironing you get to you know really bad, you know crease or something wrinkle and then you got it's this iron's got this little feature. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't want to get my camera wet, but it's got this little like spray feature where you can kind of get the clothing, you know, a little bit damp, you know, get after it with that heat and then you can get that wrinkle out of there. Um, other than that, those are pretty much the highlights of this iron. Uh, the only downside is that it is corded, but then again, you are only paying $10 for an iron. So definitely recommend it for, you know, starting out iron. Um, obviously not too much of an investment and easy to store. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave, please leave a comment down below. And if you guys need anything else reviewed that you haven't been willing to pull the trigger on, uh, please leave me an idea, and I'll definitely check it out and try to get to it when I can. Um, other than that, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and you enjoyed the video.